Hi, it's Chase from Purple Cats Quilting. Welcome to our creative studio. Purple Cats Quilting is an online quilt shop located in Rimby, Alberta, Canada. Um, we feature all things Tula Pink. We love Tula Pink. And today I'd like to talk about the Tula Pink Butterfly um, Quilt Pattern 2.0. Um, back in 2013, Tula Pink designed the Butterfly Quilt and it was just so popular. I had this pattern for a long, long time. I looked at it. I was a little nervous about starting because it's a big quilt. But here it is. Here's my first one. Um, during COVID, we had a sew along. We invited people who had the pattern to join us and we built our quilts together um, because during COVID, everybody was in lockdown. Lots of people needed something creative to do. So I designed my quilt um, using out of print tulip pink, did lots of fussy cutting, really enjoyed the process. Um, I strayed a little bit from the original colorway because this one was made with acacia and that pa that fabric is no longer available. It's just kind of a collector's thing. Um, there was also a butterfly done up in Tula Pink Eden. So some people that joined us had that kit. Some people asked us to design, a, um, to design one. And so we actually did have one designed. Um, Courtney put one together and we called it the Purple Cats Quilting Butterfly Kit. So we had 120 people join us for that so long. We had about 60 finishes. And then in September, a year ago, we had a butterfly event where we had 18 beautiful, um, unique quilts hanging in our quilt shop. And we had an event where people came and saw them. That is also available on YouTube. You can have a look at that. So getting started, um, the, you get your big kit in the mail. It's got lots of fabric. What's really nice about this pattern is that there's color guides in it to show you all the different fabrics that you need. It breaks down by block. It, it's really, really a well-written pattern. Um, it shows you how to cut up your squares, how to lay it, lay them out, how to sew them together. She talks about creating, even how, as going as far as how to quilt it, how to put your binding on. There's your colors that are in the pattern. We have kitted it up exactly like this. Lots of people did some creative things um, where they chose a different background or maybe a different border. Um, as you're making the quilt, if you want to make it your own and you have a piece of fabric that you absolutely love that you think would look good, um, maybe in the stripes or maybe in this plus block here, um, substitute it in, make it your own. It's That's what's the fun thing about quilting is making it your own. So to get started, the first thing that I do is um, on the copyright, you can copy a pattern just for yourself, for your own use. And that's the first thing I usually do with a pattern is I copy it onto paper um, because I like to write, make notes and write things. It helps me remember, it helps me learn. And one of the things that I do um, for all the different blocks that were in here is I copied them onto little pieces of paper and each creative block I have on a paper plate. So that's kind of my filing system for making the quilt. So we've got the small wheel, the large wheel. There's quite a few different blocks. There's a small log cabin. She gives you the colors and the size of the fabrics that you cut and then you put them together. So you could cut out, you know, this set of blocks and put them on your plate, take them over to your sewing machine and sew them together. Um, it makes it a really, really, it's, it's one of the ways that I use to keep track of all the different things when you have so many different creative elements in one quilt. Another thing that I do is again, I, I'm very visual. I photocopied it. I put them together, the fabric placement companion that's in there. Um, I numbered all of the center body fabrics and I actually have them here. I thought that would be a fun little sneak peek here. This is going to be the new suggested body um, in the new colorways there. Isn't that pretty? So that's usually the first thing that I do um, when I'm making this quilt is we started with the body because it's the center of the quilt. You can get it up on your design wall. It's flying geese. Um, some flying geese blocks. It, it's, it's an easy block. It's a good beginning. Um, it's, it gives you something on your design wall to build the rest of your quilt around. Um, when you're making the quilt, you're going to do mirror images. So you're going to make this block and you're going to make this block and you're going to make this block and you're going to make this block. It's, it's kind of fun. It's really the unique part. So in the first block for the body, I already have quite a few of my pieces pre-cut according to the pattern. 
Then I can just, I clip them together in the right sizes. Then I can take them over to my sewing machine, put them together, and then take them to the pressing station, all on that nice little paper plate. So that's just a, one of the ways that I use to stay um, organized. Another thing, I'll just take you over here. When I photocopy it, I put it into a binder. I have a big basket. These are actually Ikea baskets. They make it so easy to keep track. Um, sometimes we start a big project like this and we don't finish it all at once. So how am I going to store it? So when I come back to it, everything's there because sometimes that's the hard part. When you come back to it, you've got to find all the little pieces. Well, if you've got it in a basket or in a project box like this, it makes it so easy for you. So I have all of my different fabrics that we cut in the kit laid out here. Um, Quite a few of them are color blocks so that it's easy to find. I've got my background fabric and my border fabric there. I've got a little project box that I'm going to keep all the half square triangles because I think you make 131 half square triangles. That's all these little flutter buys, I call them, on the wings. And you use the leftover fabric. You're going to use three and a half inch squares to make your half square triangles to make those. So I keep a bucket of all my scraps so that I can make those. So this is what I'm going to keep all my half square triangles in. Um, there's a beautiful coloring sheet in the pattern. Talks about the half square triangles. The pattern is so well written. It's easy. Don't be afraid. It's lots of fun. Um, use your imagination. Like I said, if you have a, a special piece of tulip pink fabric that you absolutely love and you've been sitting on it waiting to put it into something, this might be the, this might be the quilt. So thanks for joining me. We have a couple a couple kits left here. We have a few patterns left. If there's anything I can do to help you, just send us an email. Thanks, Purple Cats Quilting. Cool